Hi there, Mr. Elton here again with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Okay, today's lesson seven is addition and subtraction of rational numbers. And in this exercise, we'll be leaving the fake world or imaginary world and entering the real world connection to adding, subtracting, and rational numbers. So, so this is where you're going to work this problem on your own for a few minutes, pause the video, and then when everybody's finished, come back and, pre and play the video back, and I'll have a solution for you. Okay, now that you have had time to do this, let's go over it. Suppose a seventh grader's birthday is today, and she's 12 years old. How old was she three and a half years ago? Write an equation and use a number line to model your answer. So she is now 12, and we are going to add a negative three and one half years, and she is going to be eight and a half. Okay, and in order to do this on a number line, here, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and so on, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now I'm starting my number line at 0 here because there's no such thing as negative 8. You're born, you're at 0. So this seventh graders 12 now what the question is asking is how old was she one two three and one half years ago and the answer is okay example one representing sums of rational numbers on a number line place the tail of the arrow on 12. So I'll call this, I don't know, first of all, I have to decide what I'm doing here. The length of the arrow's absolute value is the direction of the arrow's left. Okay, so 12 needs to be over here, so we're going to be left. So 12, so I'll put 12 here. Place the tail of the arrow on 12. The length of the arrow is the absolute value of negative 3.5, which is the absolute value of negative 3.5, which is 3.5. So the arrow is 1, 2, three and one half to the left. The direction of the arrow is left since you are adding a negative number to the twelve. Okay, so then we'd have that same equation as up here. Okay. Twelve plus three and a half. Twelve plus a negative three and a half equals eight. Got my negative way back there. Hopefully you guys have that discussion. Okay, next. Exercise two. Find the following sum using a number line diagram. Negative two and a half plus five. So we're going to start at negative two and a half, which is right here. Halfway between negative two and negative three. And we're going to go to the right one. Two, three, four, five. So we should be going this direction. We're halfway between two and three. Okay. Example two. Representing differences of rational numbers on a number line. Find the following difference and represent it on a number line. One minus two and a quarter. So we're going to rewrite this as a sum. One plus negative two and one quarter. Place the tail of the arrow on one. Place the tail of the arrow on one and go left two and a half, two and a quarter to here, which is negative one. Okay. 
Now follow the steps to represent the song. So let me get this out of the way here. It says, now follow the steps to represent the song. B. Place. D. Tail. Of the arrow. On one. The length of the arrow is the absolute value of negative two and one quarter, which equals two and a quarter. The length is two and a quarter. And direction. Draw the model in the space below. Well, we already did that up here, but if you wish, there's one, there's zero, negative one, negative two, and so on. We started at one. Step one, place the arrow on one, the length of the arrow. Arrow is one, two, and a quarter. We end up here at negative one. Exercise three. Pause the video, try this. When you're done, come back, replay. Okay, now that you've done it, let's take a look. Find the following difference and represent it on a number line. Negative five and a half minus negative eight. So if we follow the directions from before, you start at the starting point, which is negative five and one half. And think of it as Discarding that negative 8 from your hand, your hand value is going to increase, so minus negative is plus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and ended up at 2. Exercise four, find the following sums and differences using the number line model. Okay, here's the solution to A. Started at negative six, move to the right, five and one quarter, answer negative three quarters. Here's B, we started at seven. Minus a negative means plus, but it's 0.9. Notice this is seven and this is eight. 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That was in tenths. Okay, so there's our number line for decimals. Okay, here we have 2.5 plus a negative a half. So we start at 2.5. We go to the left one half. That ends up at 2. Finally, D. Negative one quarter plus four, we start at negative one fourth. This scale is in quarters. Zero, one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, four quarters is one, and repeat. Okay, so if we go from negative one quarter and we go to the right four, we end up at three and two quarters. That one might have been a little tricky. Okay, here is E. Negative one half minus a negative three. Or one half minus negative three is one half plus three. So we start at a half over one, two, three. We're at three and a half. Okay, exercise five. Create an equation and number line diagram to model each answer. Samantha owes her father seven dollars. She just got paid five fifty for babysitting. If she gives that money to her dad, how much does she still owe? Okay, here's the answer to A. 
but she owes him seven. She gave him 550. That is a starting at negative seven. Moving to the right, five and one half. She still owes him a dollar fifty. Next question says at the start of a trip, a car's gas tank contains 12 gallons. During the trip, the car consumes or burns 10 and 1 eighth gallons of gasoline. How much gasoline is left in the tank? Okay, here's the answer to this one. So we're starting at 12 gallons. Burning, consuming means to decrease. So we're moving to the left. And we burn 10 and 1 eighth gallons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gets us down to 2. And then take an eighth away from 2 and it's 7. Or 1 and 7 eighths. Example C. A fish was swimming three and one half feet below the water surface at 7 a.m. Four hours later, the fish was at a depth that was five and a quarter feet below where it was at 7 a.m. What rational number represents the portion of the fish with respect to the water surface at a depth? Okay, a lot of mathematical terminology there. A rational number is a number that has a ratio. This is rational. Three and one half is a rational number. Five and a quarter is a rational number. So it's just asking for an answer that could be in fraction form for the fish is after that period. Okay, here's the solution to C. So we have negative three and one half plus a negative five and a quarter. It's five and a quarter feet below, so that equals a negative eight and three quarters. Three and a half feet below the water surface. Four hours later, the fish was at a depth that is five and a quarter feet below where it was at seven. So it went down five and a quarter from three and a half. So it started at negative three and a half. This would have been the water surface up here. It was at negative three and a half and it descended five and a half quarter more feet, ending up at negative eight and three quarters. So eight and three quarters feet below the surface, which was up here. And there's a vertical number right to explain. Okay, that's the end of lesson seven. Now do your exit ticket and go home and do your problem sets.